Hello, Senator Sanders. Who in the name of Eugene V. Debs is this? Bernie, it's Jimmy Dore, buddy. Ah, Jimmy, one of my stalwarts. Always good to hear from you. How can I help you? Just keep doing what you're doing, Bernie. That's how. How's the campaign going, buddy? Fizzling, but still has a heartbeat, not going to lie. Dealing with media nonsense from all sides. A man says that public university tuition should be free, and people act like you said that we should have surrendered to Hitler. (laughs) I know. What are you going to do? Well, what? yeah, I know. What are you going to do? I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to fight for the middle and working class people till the end. That's why we love you, Bernie. Did you see my appearance on MSNBC? (laughs) Unfortunately, yes, I did see it. MSNBC. Mainstream nabobs being cunts. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. I've got more of them, but I'll spare you. Okay. Andrea Mitchell was who I was speaking with. Yeah, I saw that. And she had the audacity to lay poor Hillary's litany of problems on my doorstep while I was a guest on her horrible program. Can you believe it? <laughs> I, I actually can, yes. The last time I was on there, she took the opportunity to whine about all the mean things people were saying about Hillary and trying to get me to say the same things. I, I know, I saw And now she moans to me, as I said, and I continue to say, (laughs) about poor Hillary's current woes. What the hell kind of airheaded fruit basket are we dealing with here? (laughs) It's almost as if she's friends with Hillary or something. Uh, Oh, oh, you think? I wouldn't be surprised. Who would be surprised? Nothing surprises me anymore. My wife tried to throw me a surprise birthday party, and I said I saw this coming, and I went straight to bed. (laughs) But remember, Andrea Mitchell is married to Alan Greenspan. Uh-huh. But remember, uh-huh. Andrea Mitchell is married to Alan Greenspan, one of the chief architects of the whole economic mess we currently find ourselves in, one of the champions of the type of neoliberal fiscal policies that Hillary Clinton is currently the pinup girl for. Wow. Hey, Bernie, isn't that a little sexist? I don't give a shit. But Bernie! I'm serious. People will call me sexist simply because I have the audacity to run against Hillary Clinton. The word doesn't mean anything anymore. I might as well say some genuinely sexist crap for the hell of it. Double jeopardy and all. You, you, you still might want to avoid that, Bernie. You're probably right. I got to say what a joke that is, though, that the Democratic establishment, whom Hillary represents, is the non-sexist side. Because well, when when women like Elizabeth Warren and Brooks Lee Bourne stood up to the likes of Alan Greenspan and Larry Summers back years ago and said that this type of deregulation, these types of financial derivatives are going to crash the economy, they were told by the establishment, okay, little girls, you've had your temper tantrum. Now sit down and have a lolly and think about what you've done. And Hillary is the descendant of that type of thinking. I'm the sexist one. Sure, sure. I see. And Andrea Mitchell is their little attack chihuahua, making sure that the baby boomer selfish excesses are never questioned properly in the media, or at least in her little corner of it, so she can fall asleep in her silk sheets beneath her bed canopy made out of narwhal horns or whatever, Without a care or guilt in the world, you're 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 preaching to the choir, buddy. 
That whole network is for fucking idiots. <laughs> wow. Even Chris says, every night can you believe what a monster Donald Trump is? And then he airs an entire Trump speech with the same enthusiasm that he would play a widespread panic bootleg for his friends at boarding school. <laughs> you really got to listen to the background on this one, man. It's amazing. Just a racist guy yelling shit. I couldn't agree more, Bernie. If I lose. Bernie, no. Don't give it a rest, you fruit roll up. If I lose. I am going to dedicate the rest of my public life to exposing these bozos for what they really are, namely the handmaidens of the baby boomer establishment, the enemies of progress, and I, and I am speaking primarily about Chris Matthews here, the sworn protectors of regressive religious thought and institutions. Amen, buddy. I wish I could simply come out and say that I'm an atheist, but I know that if I did so, that would be... All I would be talking about on every single one of these goddamn shows. Morning <laughs> Joe would lose their goddamn minds. I'd say, I want to talk about jobs. And they'd say, but this little boy wrote a book about how he went to heaven and came back. Or some <laughs> shit. It would be worse than it is now. Luckily, with a Jewish background, you could at least claim being culturally Jewish, which is a thing and satisfies most people. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I would do if I were raised Episcopalian. Wow. You know, I, I like this frank talk from you, Bernie, but I don't like this negativity about your chances. Jimmy, it's a win-win for you. Either my campaign goes forward as we had hoped, or I'm forced to drop out and I become the bitterest, most trash-talking regular call-in guest you've ever had. The political <laughs> report with Bernie okay. Sanders. I know what's up. President Clinton is a lying sack of shit in a discount Chico's outfit. That's what's up. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, give it some thought. For your own sake, you may want to start pushing that Hillary angle. Make Frank Conniff if you head writer. <laughs> Cut it out, Bernie. I'm just giving you All the right. business. Sand is out. Feel the burn. Yeah.